Hey there guys, what's going on? So if you've been on my channel this week, you'll know that in addition to a few other little things I've been talking about, I had a big 10 minute video, just over 10 minutes, to talk about the whole Foo Fighters, Sonic Highways preview thing, talk about all that buzz and excitement and me babbling and babbling over my words like five times over just to try to get everything out and all the details I found out about it. I will try to link to it, I haven't linked to it in that video yet. There's actually a written piece that I made as sort of a companion to that excitement, kind of accidentally or unintentionally tempering that excitement, I suppose. But it's also very interesting to know, and I'll link to it in this video as well, that you should go and uh, read that, just to kind of get why part of my vibe is a little bit harsh, not to go back... <laughs> Not to go back 20 years for that terminology, but to kind of show why some of the excitement over the whole Foo Fighters thing is a little... Eh, you gotta kind of bring it back a little bit when it comes to actually purchasing this record and some of the things I found that I didn't like. But the point being, that is not why we are here in this particular video. We are here to talk about the Foo Fighters again, of course, but today we are here to talk about them because of a very cool reason. I will link to this as well in the bottom if you've not seen it already, because the first single off of Sonic Highways called Something From Nothing just dropped this afternoon. It is the first track off of this 8-track effort. It's, I guess it'll be covered in the first episode of the documentary miniseries thing that they're doing tomorrow night, which starts off in Chicago and Luminaries like Buddy Guy, and they'll talk about the blues, all that stuff. But the single from that is out. It is... It is damn good, I must say. It is it is an ear killer in the best possible way. It'll blow it'll blow the roof off of your brain, your your brain hole, you know, you'll be you'll be really digging it. It's definitely compressed in the way that a lot of the Foo Fighters stuff has been more towards this quote unquote modern era, I guess. And you know, and that's it's it's like it could lose that a little bit, maybe be a little bit more rough around the edges, but I like how it builds. It starts off very soft kind of a plotting beginning to it which is nice and then it really builds in intensity and just keeps carrying and carrying and carrying up until this screaming crescendo of guitars and Dave's customary wail and just it's it's an unbelievable first single definitely gets me raring to go very pumped about this you uh, I the first thought I had in my mind was putting this on a record player despite what I said in my written piece is going to be unbelievable. It is just going to... These speakers are not going to be able to handle it because I do have my little adapter there and my amp and things and it goes out if it gets a little too loud. It's going to get loud. I don't know if it's going to be able to handle it. We'll just have to see what happens. We may have a record player down. It may have fallen and it can't get up by the time we, we get through listening to Sonic Highways when that rolls around. But this single, it's really awesome. It's got like a funky kind of an opener. I don't know if there's like some keyboard or something, that, but something kind of giving a funky opening texture. Nothing too like crazy, but it's kind of in there a little bit. And then the pace just picks up and picks up and builds. And then the guitars just go nuts and go wailing in there. And parts of it at one point remind me a little bit of like 1980s kind of guitar gymnastics, if you will, of like... Van Halen or Kiss or one of those ones where the guys would step out on stage and do like a 10 minute solo in front of everybody. Kind of almost a little heavy metal, maybe a little like a, an Iron Maiden in a way. Not that I really know a lot to be name dropping Iron Maiden of their work, but it, it kind of works like that. It sounds like that. It's a killer single, very kick ass. I will link to it in the bottom through Consequence of Sound where I was just listening to it again here before time. I just got a little bit of time here to make this. So I had a couple of chances to listen to it real quick. You should definitely go and uh, see this one for yourself. It's or listen to this one for yourself rather. It is it is a damn good single and as much as part of this whole thing did make me angry or annoyed again see the written piece that I wrote this just this is going to be cool one way or another. So go and check that out. Something from nothing. The first Foo Fighters single off of their record, Sonic Highways. There's going to be the mini-series documentary on HBO tomorrow night starting then. Be finding that online somewhere because I don't have HBO as a bunch of other people don't. But find that somewhere. That'll be really cool. And then going forward from there, the rest of their Letterman residency tonight and tomorrow. And then Sonic Highways will be out on November the 10th. So go and check that out. Definitely two big thumbs up in, uh, in my regard in, in terms of, uh, well, that wasn't English, but two thumbs way up for something from nothing. Definitely go check it out and keep it here for a couple more things before we get to the weekend and check out my blog, WordPress stuff for some more new things there. 
keep it here guys lots more to come stay tuned